Welcome to another This Week in Warframe. Today we're going to be covering the week of September 17th through the 24th. BE has stated that there is going to be a dev stream this month, but we are already halfway through the month and they have not told us yet what the date of the dev stream is going to be, which leads me to believe it's probably not going to be this week as they typically give us some time to prepare for these dev streams. But now that I've said that, there's a possibility that it's going to be this week because, oh, they love making me look silly. So keep an eye out for that as they're going to be dropping a lot of incredible news as far as what's upcoming to Warframe. And today we're going to be covering what we currently know is going on in Warframe. First, I wanted to start off with this post from DE Juice about the MK1 weapons and the flawed mods that were stated as being removed as via DE's website. After the changes to the MK1 weapons and flawed mods were first announced during TennoCon 2023 and in the Abyss of Dagoth web news post, we saw some confusion around how these changes will be implemented. So we want to provide some clarification about our plans for the Abyss of Dagoth update. MK1 weapons are not being removed from the game. It says right here, they are not being removed from the game. So you don't need to worry about missing out on mastery. It will be swapped out of the Vor's Prize quest for the standard version of the weapons and will remain acquirable via the in-game market for credits. We will cover flawed mod and MK1 weapon changes in more detail in our September dev stream, as well as the dev workshop coming later this month. See you soon. So that straight up should have just added some clarification to it, uh, myself included. I know a lot of us are thinking that the MK1 weapons are going to be removed, what happens to the Master Rank, but now we know for sure they're not going to be removed. They're just going to be removed from Vor's prize quest and we can get them in the in-game market for credits. The flawed mods, however, are still going to be removed. And to be quite honest, I always felt bad when I saw Nutenno putting Endo into those flawed mods. And uh, I kind of feel like, yeah, it's probably a good thing that they're taking them out of the game. Next, we can have a little chat about the Whispers in the Walls update as it's supposed to be released 2023. So we're going to just jump through a few notes here of what we know of it already. Warframe Whispers in the Walls is the next story expansion for Warframe. It adds a new hub area, story missions, secondary weapon type, factions, and more to the game. A new hub area! Like, we don't have a lot of those already. Either way, I'm kind of looking forward to this. I just hope it's cool looking. Maybe a place I'd actually want to hang out in or whatever, but I'm looking forward to it. The new secondary weapon type that we're aware of already is the Grimoire, which is that magic spell casting book with uh, Void Energy. They say here that Warframe Whispers in the Walls will be released in winter 2023. Hey, that's this year. That's fantastic. We have what, like three and a half months left of the year. So coming very soon. Looking forward to that. As you can see in the top picture here with Excalibur holding the book, it says Whispers in the Walls expansion introduces a new secondary weapon class called Grimoire. Uh, it's a magic book you can use to harness the void range attacks. Grimoire is the only new weapon confirmed for Whispers in the Walls so far. And the last point of interest is Whispers in the Walls introduces two new enemy factions to Warframe. These include the expanded Necromech enemies and the mysterious murmur created by the man in the wall. So hopefully the dev stream later this month is going to give us more of a clue as to when exactly this is going to drop. And if any of you saw the latest dev stream that happened this past Thursday, they did touch a little bit on Plague Star. So there is some good news as far as that goes. Scarlet Spear returning? No, sorry. No. <laughs> it is not. It is not returning. But we're working on returning Plague Star. We only want to bring Plague Star back once we've done some quality of life changes to it. Um, so currently we're kind of restructuring it. We are looking at doing it this year, but uh, we want to make sure those changes get into the build so that they can be done. Yay, Plague Star. So they are working on Plague Star and bringing it back. They do want to have some changes before the end of this year, so it is possible that we will see Plague Star before the end of this year. However, though, if you paid close attention to the way that they worded it, it's not guaranteed that it's going to come back this year, but it is going to be coming back. Just a quick reminder, you guys have a week left for Dog Days, so if you haven't done any of this yet, you might as well get through it. You're going to get, when you complete Mission 4, you're going to get this drone and Nakak Pearls 100 which the pearls you can go visit Nakak and Cetus, and she has a special little section in her shop where you can redeem a whole bunch of extra dog days rewards and stuff. But this uh, domestic drone here is pretty cool. This is the first time we've seen this in the game and you can put this in your orbiter, kind of like just have it clean your ship, I guess, while you're doing whatever. 
And in case you missed it, the Free Prime Gaming Verve Armor is here for this month. So we went over this in last week's video. I showed it off a little bit on an Excalibur, but it is here. It is this month's Warframe Rewards. So if you guys have an Amazon Prime account, you could link your Twitch to it and you can wind up with the free Twitch Prime, which allows you to redeem these items once a month when they come out. And they're just free extra things that happen in Warframe. You, pretty cool stuff, so definitely worth doing it. If you've never missed a call mission before, he is currently this week on the Murex prison. He has Deathless, Bomb Run, Defeat Venkatal, Hell, whatever, Call Go Fast, Call Kill Quick, and Man the Guns. Chipper this week. I'm gonna check his wares. See that he has a Crimson Archon Shard. The Archons this week have an Amber Shard, and we're up against Archon Nira. We have the Archon Hunt for Mobile Defense, Interception, and a Showdown. We also have, like I said, Dog Days has seven days left, so the end of this week to get that done. And we have currently Thermia Fractures up for another ten days. Reminder for you to do the Maru Ayatan Treasure Hunt. For Steel Path, the next 24 hours, we're looking at a Defense crosshair, Crossfire, Assassination, Defense, and a Defense. The invasions that we currently have up look like the only notable things are a Cybertron Vandal Blueprint versus a Carrick Wraith Barrel. And that is currently it for that. For the sortie today, we have 15 hours left to do a Hive, Exterminate, and a Mobile Defense. With Nora, her weekly challenges now are kill a Tusk Thumper Doma in the Plains of Eidolon, finish a capture mission in less than 90 seconds, complete five bounties in Orb Valis, complete one mission with only a single pistol and glaive equipped, while piloting a hijacked cruise ship, destroy three enemy fighters, feed the helmet any resource, fully socket three Ayatan sculptures, place one decoration in your orbiter, kill 20 enemies while riding a K-Drive, and today's daily is deploy an air support charge in a mission. The credits that we have for this week or the items via credit where are the there's no r yeah they are yeah they are we have a holster ramp rifle scavenger sniper scavenger and loot detector i'd say i wouldn't personally stack up on any of these to make platinum off of but if you don't have a loot detector this can be very very useful everything else seems to be kind of niche useful so it depends on what you're building what you're doing uh, shrapnel rounds for the Marilok. We have directed convergence for the Supra and deceptive bond for Loki. The circuit this week, we're looking at the boring Karn and Genesis adapter, Gamma Core, Anku, Gorgon, and the Angstrom. And personally, I'm going to grab another Angstrom and I'm going to grab another Boar here. And we're going to confirm that. As far as normal steel path or normal circuit goes, we are having Gara, Korra, and Revenant for you to choose from. Kreethus this week in her store, she's got a secondary shiver for 20 Pathos Clamps. She has an Exilus Warframe Adapter for 20 Pathos Clamps, the usual 5,000 Kuva for 10 Pathos Clamps, a primary Arcane Adapter for 25 Pathos Clamps. I would skip this personally and just get it from Teshin. She has a Formal Blueprint for 10 Pathos Clamps, a Pistol Ribbon Mod for 15 Pathos Clamps, so good stuff this week. Archimedean Yanta, here's your reminder to grab your 35,000 Kuva with your 5 Void Plume Pinions. Teshin currently has a Veiled Riven Cypher for 20 Steel Essence and a Zaw Riven Mod for 75 Steel Essence. Captain Conehead this week has himself if we browse his merchandise. A Tenant Ferox, 25% electricity. I would pass on that. Tenant Grigori, 51% toxin. Totally grab that if you don't already have one. Tenant Livia, 25% magnetic. Skip that. Tenant Exec is uh, toxin, 49%. You could grab that too if you didn't already have one. And the Agendus is a 60% magnetic. Let's go. I think somebody in my community told me earlier today that they bought this and it was actually a 59.6%. Close enough. Still good. Still worth it. Either way. Uh, yeah, we got three things you guys can grab uh, for another day in 23 hours. Another two days left. Paladino this week has a Riven mod for 10 Riven Slivers. Which you can grab to see what that is. Oh, great. I'm glad I didn't grab the others all. And another Riven Sliver for 10... Another Riven mod for 10 Riven Slivers. Pistol, that's a lot better. 35,000 Kuva for 10 Riven Slivers and 150,000 credits for 5 Riven Slivers. Now once every week at the end of these videos, once I upload it to YouTube, we wind up having coaching sessions for my Patreons and VIPs. So if you are new to Warframe or even if you're old to Warframe, if you want to get in, learn how to all the tips and secrets and tricks to making all the platinum you could ever dream of, 
which is the premium currency, uh, feel free to become a Patreon. And there's lots of other bonuses attached to any tier that you want to become there to support and help. That would be awesome, and I appreciate you guys so much for that. We are looking at, for this week, with Invigorations, we have a Rhino, 200%. Primary critical chance plus 75% ability efficiency. All these are going to be different for everybody, by the way. I'm just going over mine because you guys always seem to want to see it. So 250% secondary damage plus 75% parkour velocity. For mag and for volt, we have plus 200% ability strength and immune to status effects. That about wraps it up for this week in Warframe. Thank you, everybody, so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate all the support we've been getting on these videos lately. You guys are the boss, awesome sauce, and uh, keep, keep chilling stuff. I will see you guys in the next one.